So I'm going to be summarising a study that was titled A Wild and Inaccessible Place, The Lived Experience of Autistic Pregnancy and Birth. This research looked at the unique experiences and challenges faced by autistic women during their pregnancy and childbirth. So we know that pregnancy is a complex time with lots of physical and emotional changes for anyone, really. We also know that autistic people in particular have many challenges when accessing any kind of health or mental health care due to things like sensory sensitivities, difficulties in communicating with professionals, lack of autism knowledge on the part of those treating professionals, and that can often leave them feeling misunderstood or even judged. However, currently there's very little research focusing on what autistic women experience in that really critical period of pregnancy and birth, where it's quite likely that healthcare might not always meet their needs. So the main goal of this study was to better understand the personal lived experiences of autistic women during pregnancy and birth. The researchers wanted to see what common themes emerged in their stories and how these experiences might differ from non-autistic peoples. The researchers interviewed eight cisgender autistic women who had given birth within the last 16 years. These women were all white and living in the UK. All but one had been diagnosed after their pregnancy. The interview questions explored sensory experiences, feelings about motherhood, and how these women connected with their identity as mothers. The study identified three main themes. The first theme, reinterpreting pregnancy experiences, was how, describing how participants felt disconnected from reality during birth, experiencing confusion and sensory overload. They mentioned feeling a type of grief for the birth journey that they were expecting but, but didn't have and struggled with sensory challenges like intense smells. The second theme, ups and downs in maternal identity, was when women talked about feeling immediate love and connection with their babies, while also struggling with feelings of self-doubt, often due to societal pressures and stigma about being an ideal mother. Feeling different from other new mothers really heightened this internal conflict. And the third theme was seeking support. Many participants found healthcare support inconsistent and impersonal. They really valued the instances of compassionate care that they did have and said that having consistent support would have made a really big difference. Some of the participants spoke of how having an autism diagnosis before their pregnancy might have helped them advocate more effectively for their needs. So these findings suggest that autistic women could benefit greatly from more personalised care during pregnancy and childhood birth. The study highlights the need for health professionals to be trained to understand sensory needs of autistic people and to communicate clearly and compassionately. Having specialised midwives and clear, consistent communication would help autistic women feel more supported. In summary, the study shines a light on the unique challenges autistic women face during pregnancy and birth. It suggests that more tailored healthcare practices could make a positive impact on these experiences. Hopefully with research like this, healthcare providers will be able to create better support systems for autistic individuals during these really important life events.